It's just, I don't understand what is wrong, what is going on inside people's heads. And here's a little bit of news. I've never had a speeding fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Mr. Perfect. Welcome to Bench Talk. It's a special one. We have a special guest here. No man. Wow. I mean, George from ProFlow and Fab. How are you, man? Very well. That's good. And me. Nobody <laughs> cares. Some automotive news. The Mitsubishi factory has been sold to make toilet paper. That's crap. The turds are continuing because that's what was coming out previously out of that factory. Yeah, right. yeah. There we go. My favourite car brand. <laughs> I don't reckon Mitsubishi will be around. As a, as a car brand, I don't reckon they'll produce electric cars, period. They'll stick to air conditioners. It's a pretty sad day, isn't it? Because they don't have any performance. Stuff zero, zero. zero. All, all, they it, done. all they sell is every different size SUV, and that's it. They don't sell cars. Even what, Mitsubishi Australia is like shocking. What car do they sell? No, Mitsubishi, we went from having local Mitsubishi yeah. mi manufacturing. Magna. Magna. Yes. Three, and 380, <laughs> to now, now, now yeah, no. from a worldwide scale, the yeah. brand is, is gone. Yeah. cooked. Yeah, gone. $1,250 value added to your new Magna with these genuine Mitsubishi accessories. The, is the toilet paper going to have uh, rally art badging on it or what? Pretty much the same thing as their current lineup, isn't it? I mean, all Rally I do, all they sell is merchandise. Why not sell some TP? I mean, it says here it's the first time a Mitsubishi has shut manufacturing sites in 21 years. So, as you said, where is that company going? No, I don't. I don't. I think they're done. I'll be surprised if they're around in 10 years. Down the toilet they go. <laughs> EU speed limiters putting UK drivers off from buying new cars just months before the new law. A new study has found that almost three quarters of Britons are unaware of a new speed limiter legislation which is set to be introduced in July. All new cars sold in Europe must be equipped with a speed limiter technology under the European Union, Union Directive. Hang on, didn't Britain leave the EU? Am I missing something? Isn't that what Brexit was all about? They're, they're just taking, what is it, 35 years to leave? Yeah. 40% of drivers said they would be deterred from purchasing a new car if this technology is introduced. There are concerns about how the technology will be enforced when driving given fears of potential distractions for motorists. Safety experts have suggested a visual or an audio alert could be used to prompt drivers to slow down once they go above the speed limit. What, what kind of audio alert could that be? So hang on a minute, so the, the alert is, it's not a speed limiter by definition, it's more telling you what speed you're going over, so, it, so set to the local speed limit, is so that what the, it is? So the car obviously knows where you are and what speed zone you're in. Well, with any so why, with that technology, is it a far reach to suggest that maybe if you went 61 in the 60 zone, um, the speed finds automatically in the mail? No, but new, new cars have that radar, lidar stuff, whatever they call it. Remember, yeah. it has the front-facing camera. It scans the speed signs. That's how yeah. it comes up when your head's up. Okay. Yeah. At least you wouldn't have this issue if you owned an RX-8, would you? Just be <laughs> the speedo would just be permanently zero. <laughs> if you had a Subaru, the car would be at home. What is your engine might have a blown head gasket. But look, what is this new safety feature called? Intelligent Speed Assistance. Saying, what's the assistance? So when you're 1K over, it gently assists. Yeah, because what could go wrong if you're driving and surpass the speed limit, I guess. Q9084 Big Brother is watching. Dude, hey, Geordie, do you want to just... If... It's a voluntary tax, like all this speeding hey, stuff. Don't worry about the speeding, we'll get to that later, because we're going to unload both barrels. The research also found that a staggering 77% 70, of motorists wouldn't trust a self-driving car to keep themselves or their families safe on the road. No shit. My car has this fitted. If it is switched on, hang on, hang on, hang on, back up. What do you mean if it's switched on? You're telling me you're not turning it off every time you drive the car? What? And you exceed the limit for more than a short, short burst, the car will throttle itself back to the limit. It will also do this if you depress the accelerator for a short burst to overtake or avoid a situation whether it is safe to do so or not. 
The system does not work well. In fact, on most journeys, the speed limit detection will be at the time incorrect. You've seen the video of the guy in the Volvo, he's standing in front of the brake assist and the goes straight through. <laughs> straight through. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a recipe for disaster, dude. This is how not to train your car dealership staff about a safety system meant to protect pedestrians. I don't understand. How can it Imagine know every Imagine going 2Ks over in the throttle. Dude, that's unsafe. that's unsafe. That's the opposite of safety. Like, you're accelerating for whatever reason and the thing throttles you back. Sounds like standard new car drive-by-wire throttle lag. That's all it is. Yeah, probably. Why would they want people slowing down? How are they going to get speed camera ribbon? Well, if you go over, they'll send you the ticket anyway. Because we all know doing 1K over does not cause certain death. Or is it a 187 murder, death, kill? Murder, death, kill. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's, but that's, that's Europe though. Europe's different. They're probably trying to save people going on the autobahn at 200 k's. Am I the only one who actually thinks, why do you need a self-driving car? Yeah. What's the whole point? That, that's the whole point I of don't, driving. I personally, I don't get it. Like, is driving yeah. that hard? You can't even just drive? Like... I always prefer to drive than be a passenger because 100%. I'm why do you exactly want to be a passenger in a car? It's so boring. Yeah, it's, it's real boring. I guess how are you going to look at TikTok and Instagram and... Yeah, you can do that while you're driving. While you're driving anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's safe as. <laughs>I've never seen a bigger story than last week when the GR Corolla was launched in the USA. I've never seen so much, um, let's say, excited people. It takes a ton to earn that badge for the car. He obviously hasn't heard of a GR Sport CHR or a GR Sport Land Cruiser, because um, that's serious cred, that GR badge. We stick it on everything. But no, as usual, the three cylinder over there now is so polarizing, they are losing the plot as to why it's not a four cylinder. They're just, they're just fixated on a three cylinder, not four cylinder thing. And you've got the fanboys who think it's going to be the best car since the dawn of time. But you've got to remember when you live in America, nothing happens outside of America. Mm. So even if people, there's plenty of quick Yaris's going around on the internet. It's been proven the engines are pretty damn capable, but that doesn't actually exist. Like it yeah. happened outside of America, it's, yeah, so, so it's, it's like pointless. Um, there's no credit to it's it. It's a parallel universe. Yeah, yeah. It is. At it's the end of the day, they're going to weigh 200 kilos more. They're going to be slower. So once again, the Yanks got screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have them here anyway. Yeah. We'll get them here. One thing people just don't seem to notice that the back half of a Yaris is a Corolla, right? Mm. Uh, go and open the boot on a Corolla. It's the same as a Yaris, which is useless. Seriously, you can't even put an overnight bag in there. And the boot, it's got no depth in the boot either. Yeah, like you I open remember, the match remember, and it's flat. Tutors, yeah. Anything, the, anything past maybe one luggage bag you're putting the back, the back seat is tiny yeah. like you wouldn't have adults in there it's like it's a four-door yaris it's not a corolla say that again it's not a corolla when mm. you when you actually look at the car they're not very big hats off to toyota though they've totally opposite of mitsubishi yeah, who done brand, something brands in the toilet literally going by that last article the um but yeah they've got the supra now but let's back it up here now they took it up when Toyota build a super and put a BMW engine. So then what do they do? They develop their own engine, but that's no good because it's a three cylinder. You know what they should just use? They should just use two JZs in everything. <laughs> the best engine ever. We've all done it. Flash the cheeky high beams to warn oncoming drivers there's a speed trap ahead. Well, Bo Jackson is upping the ante to make sure everyone gets the message. The L Plater is on a personal crusade against fines he says are unfair. Now, this was one I've been waiting to get to. Did you see there was an L Plater? He was on his motorbike and he was pulling on the side of the road and he was warning, warning motorists that there was a safety camera up the road where the cops were. So the police are sitting there and the police know about him. He's not breaking the law, he's not doing anything wrong. Everyone going past is tooting their horns. Apparently they're pulling over, giving him chocolates, skaterades, anything, because he's obviously a local and he does it quite a bit. I went into this article and my eyes were burning from the comments of just the bootlickers. Just, I cannot believe the, the mentality people have with these speed cameras. George, they're there to save lives. They're there to save lives. And slow, it's a voluntary George. tax. And if you're not doing anything wrong, then what are you talking about? Exactly. You've done the wrong thing, so You've pay the, the fine. Thing. I don't know it's what the problem is. Just pay it for all. 
Oh, but, do the speed limit and don't yeah. get a fine. And if I'm going to petition to the government, they should lower the speed limits to 20 hmm. because that's the speed limit. You can't exceed it. 20 is fine. 20 everywhere. But you know the one thing that they don't seem to ever address? Like they'll be like, oh, do you want your kids run over? And it's like where they're putting the speed cameras is 50 metres past where it drops from 90 to 60 hmm. and they put it 50 metres past there. So there's no kids running around that area, idiot. It's a 90 zone. People are just rolling out of the throttle. Have some common sense. Like, yeah. yeah, no one's advocating doing, you know, 40 k's over the speed limit through a school zone. It's just, there's, it, it's so black and white policed. Look, we haven't even started. Calm down. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> you oh, can't get him started on, on this. On this. It's just, I don't understand what is wrong. What is going on inside people's heads? And here's a little bit of news. I've never had a speeding fine. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I believe that with the way you drive. <laughs> you know why? There's this thing called your eyes, and when you drive along, oh, there's a speed camera. There's a speed camera. Instead of just looking at the tail lights of the car in front of you, not that hard. Mr. Perfect. Maybe educate the team that drivers need to be responsible. If they speed, they deserve the fine. Someone talking sense. Mm. But you are breaking the law. You are aware of that, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the right thing, you don't get fined. You do the wrong thing, suffer the consequences. Suffer in your jocks. That's it. Mm -hmm. Disrespect for the law. Eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> if they are not speeding, they shouldn't have to worry. Speed cameras save lives. Absolutely. Has anyone ever Is proven that? Is this straight that? from the media department from the mm. TAC? Who's writing this rubbish? PR guy, mate. How many lives have they saved? Billions and billions. Is there any concrete peer review journals? In Australia, they've probably saved twice the population, at least, surely. Of bootlickers. Mm. The, answer, the simple answer is if a 60 zone do 60, and you won't have an issue. If you want to keep yourself out of trouble. Okay, but the problem is they don't trouble, do 60. Trouble, this is the biggest they boomer. They don't do boomer 60. Hmm? Yeah, they do 50. They do 45. If they hit 50, oh, back it off. Better calm down. Better slow down. You've got to keep... You at least 15 under. What they, what they do is they do 90 on the highway, and if that overtake lane comes up, all of a sudden, they don't seem to care about the speed limit. 100, 105, as soon as that overtaking lane's finished, back to 90. That's it, mate. Australian, Standard mate. Australian uh, driving. That's it, mate. Keep left unless overtaken, mate. This hope he gets a fine for obstruction. So now they're picking on the team. Again. Obstruction of what? Hang on, but isn't doing anything wrong? Isn't this, uh, a bit of a contradiction. He's making people slow down. Making people slow down, which means people are going slower, which means sa safer. Less people are dying. Okay, so high beaming. The old yeah, high I beaming. had that this morning yeah. for a speed camera, yeah. It used to be illegal. Yeah, there was, there was conjecture whether it was legal or not legal Correct. in certain yeah. states. Yeah. Did the law change? It is legal. But you essentially, by high beaming oncoming drivers of an upcoming you're blinding speed camera. Them. No, you're not blinding them. You're actually doing the same thing as a speed camera. You're just getting them to slow down in that area. You're warning them, correct? Him and everyone else against speed cameras will be the reason people die on the roads. <laughs> die. Die. I can't take much more of this. <laughs> no laughing matter. Murder, death, kill. <laughs> Not at all. It's legit. These people just need to go on their automated self-driving cars um, from the turd f Mitsubishi turd factory. <laughs> But Geordie, a common phrase I see is like, where do you draw the line? Like if you're saying 61 is acceptable, like where do you say, you know, where should you get fined? Well, the cops give you three off. There's no, the problem is it's so black and white. Like you can do, um, you can't do 63 in a 60 zone, say. But speeding doesn't kill. But you can do 59 in the rain. Speeding doesn't no, kill. Road. It's a sudden stop sudden that kills stop you. Kills, yeah. Exactly, you can do 60 in monsoon rain conditions, but if you do 64 you on a perfect day, one's, one's legal and one's illegal. <laughs> he wants to buy one of these new Nugget Subarus slash um, Outback slash Legacy. Actually, it is a WRX, isn't it? With those um, awful wheel guards. I don't know what you'd call them. People are calling it cladding. That's probably not the word. They're off <laughs> a Ford. They've got a Ford. They've got the, the flares off the Ford Ranger. Like, you know, the dual cab. <laughs> and they're just going. <laughs> the Raptor. Stuck them on. <laughs> the, the Raptor. Raptor, Raptor wheel flares. <laughs>
Everyone's just going bananas because it's the ugliest car on earth. But I mean, realistically, WRXs have got almost less attractive as they've as gone they've on. got older. Yeah, they've absolutely. got same as the Evo's softer right? and hmm? the Evo's yeah. done the same too. Yeah, it must be a Japanese thing. The WRX clearly is a car that was originally obviously a rally car, but it was out. It's of, now it's, it's now it's a global platform it's a car. Consumer it just car. looks yeah bad. That's and everyone exactly soaks up like they'll be like, oh, it's got Civic tail lights or it's got these headlights. They don't understand. There's so much regulation now with design. You can't mm. just make a car look how you. You can't. The bonnets. You know, the bonnets like have to be a lot higher. You, you can't, can't have the headlights. Can't, you can't have it like this. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't pass design rules. It's something to do with hitting pedestrians. Yeah. And, yeah. Because you know, instead of a broken hip, you might get a broken rib cage. Now I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that hard? I don't know. Is it that hard not to be hit by a car? Just don't. Yeah, like, just don't speed. Just don't speed. But like. I don't worry about looking both ways. Oh. Just don't speak. George, you said you wanted to get on Bench Talk just so that you could roast some uh, see you next Tuesdays. Yeah, right. I do. I'm, I'm hanging. <laughs> if, you don't, if you haven't got any material, I'll just start roasting you guys.